Hello and welcome to my channel, My Views and News. Viewers, protests have been going on in Iraq for the last two months. More than 100 people have been killed so far. Iraqi Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi has resigned, but protesters are not willing to end the protests yet. They are calling for a complete overhaul of the political system of Iraq. They are protesting against mismanagement, corruption, poor service delivery, bad governance of the government. And yet the protests are going on. What I want to talk about in this video is that Iraqi protesters, they are targeting, they are attacking, they are setting on fire Iranian buildings inside Iraq. Iranian consulates in Najaf, in Basra, they were attacked by these protesters. They set on fire these consulates. They burnt Iranian flags there. Then uh, Iranian consulate in Baghdad, it was also attacked by protesters. So why is that? I mean, uh, these protests, they are concentrated mostly, mainly in the south of Iraq. And south of Iraq, it has mostly Shia population. Iraq does have Shia majority. I mean, more than 60% population of Iraq, it's Shia. And Iran is also a Shia Muslim country. And uh, why is, is this that uh, these protesters who are mostly Shia Muslims, why they are venting out their anger against Iran, which is also a Shia Muslim country? We use first just a little background to these protests. These protests started at the start of October. Iraqi Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi, he ordered the transfer of the head of counterterrorism authority of Iraq, uh, Abdul Wahab al Saadi. He was transferred from uh, counterterrorism authority to the defense ministry. Abdul Wahab al Saadi, the head of, uh, ex head of counterterrorism authority in Iraq, is a very prominent figure and he has commendable services he has done in, in the fight against ISIS. He's a public fi figure, people like him, people love him and his transfer orders to the defense ministry, it was being considered as a sort of demotion. And people did not like these orders. And in reaction to this transfer of uh, Abdul Wahab as Saadi, Iraqi public, it took to streets. Then uh, the situation uh, went out of control. These protests continued and we have seen almost two months of these protests. Now, Coming back to the question that why Iraqi protests, protesters, they are targeting Iranian buildings there. First, let's analyze the influence of Iran in Iraq. Does Iran has any influence in, in the running of Iraqi government? Well, Iran has considerable influence in Iraq. And Iran has developed this influence in the last four to five years. In 2013, when ISIS started sweeping in Iraq, more than 50,000 kilometers of area, it was being controlled by ISIS. And it was being said that ISIS might capture Iraq. Iranians intervened. They backed private militias in Iraq. Then Americans and allied, they also intervened. They backed Iraqi forces. So Iraqi forces backed by allied and private militias backed by Iran. Both of them took on ISIS and they defeated ISIS. During the course of this fight against ISIS, Iranians, they developed a considerable influence by backing private militias in Iraq. Secondly, in, in election process, Iranian parties, parties which are backed by Iran, like uh, the party of Muqtada al-Sadr, they are also very um, prominent players. The, the incumbent government in Iraq, it is being shared by Muqtada al-Sadr and other parties. So Iran has considerable sway over this Iraqi government. And that is why when the transfer orders of uh, Abdul Wahab as Saadi, they were ordered, they were ordered, it was being said that Iran was behind these orders. And, and this rumor was spread across, all across Iraq, that Iran wanted to keep the Iraqi forces weakened and it wanted to strengthen the private militias. So that is why a prominent figure of counterterrorism authority he was transferred at the behest of Iran and the main purpose of his transfer was to weaken the security forces. So it sent a very bad signal to the protesters. That is why they took to streets and, and, and the protests started. Secondly, during the course of these protests, uh, several protesters, they were shot uh, by snipers. 
and these snipers they were deployed at rooftops and uh, they belonged to certain private militias and it was believed by protesters that these uh, uh, these snipers they were backed by Iranian militias um, militias which were backed by Iran so the protesters they were further enraged that Iran is not only backing the government but it is also targeting the protesters uh, through private militias thirdly the poor economic conditions in Iraq we know that Iraqi economy it's also going through a very bad patch in security there no foreign investment there then Americans they also impose sanctions on certain groups in Iraq then Iranian sanctions they also affect Iraqi economy as well so unemployment there inflation there the government which came in 2018 it could not deliver and Iraqis they blame Iran for, for this failure of Iraqi government because they think that Iranians they they are at war with Americans and and Iraqis are also suffering the consequences of this war of Iran and America and America is also tightening things around Iraqi groups as well and fourthly people seem to be fed up with uh, with sectarian politics in in the Middle East especially in Iraq we know that Iran Saudi Arabia they are the main uh, supporters of sectarian politics in the Middle East and Iranians they are also promoter of their own uh, religious school of thought in the region and people seem to be fed up with that they don't want to be governments established on the basis of sects they want to be governments to be elected on the basis of uh, equality on the basis of performance on the basis of good governance so that is why there seems to be a reaction against the increased Iranian influence in Iraq and people on the streets they are venting out their anger on Iran and, and they want a government which is which which represents all the sects which represents all the segments of society and work for the betterment of people not for any particular sect so let's see what happens thank you for watching